the Kingdom of Lesotho, a landlocked country surrounded by the Republic of South Africa. Its stunning landscape hides the troubles of its people. It is one of the poorest countries in the world. HIV and AIDS have ravaged its population. Over 40% of the people here live below the poverty line, and it has the third highest incidence of HIV and AIDS globally. Many of the population are under 24 years of age and have a life expectancy of only 37. Up to 40% of the children of Lesotho are orphans who are plagued with loss, poverty, starvation and an almost total lack of support. The problem that we get with HIV and AIDS is that the children who are living in this area, they live childless, no parents, only grandmothers and grandfathers, and no money to survive. Many of the members of the community there are not working. Most of the problems that we encounter in the villages, young girls fall pregnant, some die because of HIV and AIDS, they live orphans with older people who don't have work. The problems of its people are so great that it is hard to believe the land yields some of the world's largest rough diamonds. Graph diamonds is synonymous with the most beautiful jewellery, much of which is created from rough diamonds. They have had links to Lesotho for over five years, during which they have acquired at least three of their most impressive uncut diamonds. Over the last five years or so, the miners yielded out some unbelievable quality diamonds of large size. In 2006, a rough diamond was uncovered in the Letseng mine in Lesotho. Lawrence Graff named it the Lesotho Promise and set about cutting and polishing it into one of the world's most stunning collections. When you finally get the collection together and you see this array of diamonds, you see the beauty and the life and the shapes. It's so exciting. Lesotho Promise, every stone is perfect. Due to Graff's involvement in Lesotho, Lawrence Graff has found great affection for the kingdom and its people. He has given his own promise to give something back and to offer what help he can to the place that has captured his heart. We decided that we would set up our own charity within Graff, which is the Facet Foundation. We look for charities on the ground that are doing successful work and we help them implement their expertise. We were looking to help the people of Lesotho and we came across this organization, Help Lesotho, run by Peg, and she's devoted her lifetime course to this country. Help Lesotho works with orphans, vulnerable children, youth, grannies and schools. By focusing on, on the three issues of education, leadership development and gender equity, that's how we're trying to help the Basutu dealing with um, HIV and AIDS in the country. Over the years we've had more than 16,000 youth in our leadership programs and unfortunately we've had no facility in which to work. Through our facet charity. We're building this beautiful centre and we're bringing in 50 orphan children from the devastation of disease and, and poverty of this country. We're giving them hope. Mr. Graff gave a donation to the construction of the actual centre, but he's also committed to the programming for the next three years. Lawrence Graff donated the money that enabled Helpless Sutu to build the Graff Leadership Centre, which he opened in March 2010 with the King of Lesotho. This is not a school. The Graf Leadership Center is a training center. It is a place where people can develop literacy, leadership, and learn. The Graf Leadership Center will run various schemes, including their grandmother program. The HIV AIDS pandemic has wiped out a generation of parents, leaving children orphaned or in the care of elderly grandparents who themselves have suffered the loss of their own children. The program on and grandmothers has been very, very successful. The grandmothers are given lessons on HIV, grief and loss, good parenting. They get counseling on certain problems with their orphans. When we first started, 
uh, the, the grandmothers were hopeless, were not able to do any work. They were tired. I was deeply depressed after the death of my sons and daughter. The program has raised me up. It helped me to know about this is who took my, 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 my son and daughter. I knew it, so I knew how to protect myself and other children I'm looking after. We are hoping that in future we'll be able to extend uh, the program further. The young people of Lesotho will also benefit from the centre, which will run gender equity and leadership schemes. A generation is growing up without parents, without enough teachers and without enough leadership. The Graf Leadership Centre is trying to prevent the spread of HIV in its young people through HIV programmes and encouraging testing, but also by trying to build up the leadership they are not receiving through the normal means. I like the centre very much because young children used to go outside and there they used to drink beer, smoking, doing crime. So it protects me so much. Education is very important to us because if there is no education, we will know nothing about diseases and what, happen, what is happening in our district or area. As soon as a child gets educated, he does things which the child could not do before. I'll give you an example. Most of uh, children in rural areas do not wash themselves, but as soon as they are taken to school, they'll wash themselves. We've seen lives transformed from children who have no concept of a future to ones who are confident, articulate, able to take community leadership. It's really exciting. Some, they want to be politicians, some want to be teachers, scientists, doctors, farmers. I want to be a doctor because I see that so many people get sick and uh, they, we have a few doctors here in Lesotho. That's why I want to be a doctor. The Graf Leadership Centre has laid the foundations to provide hope in this beautiful yet desperate country. I was amazed and so happy at how important this centre is to the people. Everyone knew about it, from a waitress in a cafe to, of course, the children and the grandmothers who are going to be directly involved and directly benefit. Help Usutu is convinced and I'm determined that this center is going to be a model for all of Lesotho and perhaps beyond. We're all very happy that Mr. Graf has chosen to support Help Lesotho in this way to allow us to be able to help the community by providing the Graf Leadership Center. We love to be involved. The people of this country are wonderful, they're lovely, they're good-hearted, and I'm looking to the future with great hope that we will help thousands and thousands of Lesotho children. And what I'm saying to the craft is that we are very grateful, we are very thankful because this is a very great sacrifice that we have done. I'll not forget this because uh, 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 really, this is part of Lesotho, this is ours, therefore we are going to support it. It's going to live forever.